Hi folks, hope you're doing well today. Um, you know, one of the things I like to do is just kind of take stock or inventory on emergency preparedness items for your home. It's always a good idea, you know, if you <clears throat> if you prepare, then when something happens, then uh, hopefully that those items will be useful. So anyhow, um, you know, I'm not necessarily endorsing uh, one way of filtering your water versus another, but this is something I, I actually purchased about five years ago, um, and you can see it can purify uh, 4,755 gallons of water. So it's got <clears throat> it's uh, got a little uh, uh, basically way to siphon the water um, and filter it through that <clears throat> that uh, life straw there. So um, and I'm by no means an expert, but It'll kill uh, or it'll filter 99.9% of the bacteria like E. coli, rotavirus, hepatitis A, um, <clears throat> Giardia, etc. The things that you'd find in water. So, um, you know, hopefully things will remain civil and uh, we'll have our um, water systems in place. But if for some reason uh, you had to filter water that was questionable, this is just a really easy, light way of doing it. Um, this particular one is called a life straw. I'm sure there's several different kinds out there. But, <clears throat> you know, this is something I can carry in my backpack. They make smaller versions, but um, just for my family, I did some quick math. You know, if you divide by 365 for the year and then the number of people in your family, this filtration system would give us each personally a gallon of water a day for two and a half years. So, um, <clears throat> you know, any emergency that lasts two and a half years, uh, well, that's a long time. So um, probably this would last anyone um, through most uh, situations uh, that they would need to get through. So water is the most important thing. Uh, it's the quickest thing that will uh, you will need. I think you can only last a couple of days without water. Food, of course, is important, but you can go a couple weeks. Not saying it would be fun, but you might want to think about some way to purify water. I know there's lots of different ways to do it. If you have a way that you know how to do it, um, I know there's some lots of uh, survivalists and military folks that watch the show, and I'm sure they've got very creative ways of doing it. Um, but this is a very easy way to do it um, without having to have a large knowledge base. I would still uh, boil the water after I filtered it if it were me, um, if I had a way to, you know, even if it's just on a campfire, run it through the filter and then boil the heck out of it uh, before you drink it. But in an emergency, this would keep you from being coming dehydrated. So anyhow, I uh, hope you're all staying safe and well and take care of yourselves. Bye.